No, Ty, yeah. speak on Donny van der Beek, bro. Not in our not in our Champions League. Um, he's not even in our Champions League squad, bro. A brother yeah. that's played played for him. Uh, you trying yeah. to tell me our squad's that good that he can't even make the squad? I'd have him in the squad, yeah. but I don't think stylistically, profile-wise, he suits the Premier League or uh, uh, the way English football is. But I rate Danny Van der Beek. Just let him go. Yeah, but, yeah, but we never I brought in this to... manager to play English football. We brought him in from Ajax. Yeah, and but unfortunately, <laughs> I just don't think Donny is just going to make it at Manchester United. And that just happens with some players. Doesn't mean he's a bad player. Sometimes you buy someone might buy me a pair of trainers. I might like the trainers, but if they don't shoot, the fit my feet, are dying, my, man. Fit my feet, the technicians are dying in this team, man. The Seven, are what, dying. 65 million? 65 million for Mason Mount. Now he's not <laughs> playing him. Are you trying <laughs> to tell me that he no, didn't know that Mount and Bruno wasn't going to work? Because I knew. That's, that's, that's I knew. That that's, a, that's, a, that's a big mistake. I Bro, knew, he, transfer window, I'm agreeing with you lot. Transfer he's caused all his own problems, Ty. And you're telling him, you're telling me that based on what he's shown us, he deserves more time. I'm saying I disagree. This season, after what he done last year, I'm not just going to throw in the towel because once he's I'm got no I'm credit in the bank. bank. There's no going back. If we go and win 10, I'm beating and then I'll jump on here. I ain't hearing you getting out your, your dinner saying 10 he, He's got no he's got no credit in the bank. He's got no you know, credit you know in the bank. Was, we no, talk about he, last season, spending 400 million, yeah, and not playing the players the that you brought in. That doesn't mean I want to manage out because he got the Not playing the players that you brought in shows me you don't know what you're doing, bro. You don't know. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I'm you know manager, what's bad? Can I just say something, yeah? Ty, Ty, you know what's mad, yeah? I feel like for me, yeah, you know when you see teams, yeah, you see Pochettino even right now, the results aren't there right now, but you can see what their side resembles. Mm -hmm. You can see what Newcastle resemble. You can see... Aston Villa with the way they got their Watkins in behind and they're explosive and you can see what everything what does Man United right now represent like what does it resemble what, why are we why why are we after 18 months here keep saying well if this player comes back and that bro we should have had a foundation strong enough to withhold two three players missing you know mm -hmm. this is for me the, the the bad side of what I've seen on the Ten Hag is that mm -hmm. we don't know what our team resembles you don't know what you're going to get week to week one minute Copenhagen yep. we might look like we're playing good yeah and all of a sudden, it, at 10 men, this is what's alarming for me as well. At 10 men, the way we capitulate should not happen, you know. It really, really should not happen. Defensively and attacking-wise as well. When he takes out certain players as well, you don't know what, who's coming in next and what's going to go on. He puts Bruno on the right and this and that. And the, the formation all of a sudden changes. This manager does not have a style. And you know what? He's panicking now. It's results-based business now. And for me, that's not sustainable. Yeah. And this is where I want as a manager, stick with your principles. I said I, it, I don't think uh, so, these ago. players Stick at the back your principles. I, I, do you know what I hear you the football in, in terms of like Newcastle when they bring in their B team they all know the structure Man City they make rotations and they all play the similar football I just think the way Ten Hag is set up to the way he, he coaches the game is that he's brought an honour in and he wants to play out from the back I know, I know Varane's not playing at the moment because he's not comfortable playing at left centre back but I do believe that when we do get the better back four in and if we sign players that also come in defence and play better from the, better better on the ball I feel like our foundation is set from the back this is the big thing for me. I don't think we've had that consistent defence at the moment. I don't feel like the build-up that we had last year with the Luke Shaw Martinez, who, by the way, are better at passing through the lines than our midfielders. And yes, I question Ten Hag. He's the one that signed these midfielders. I believe that we are not going to get worse. How I look at it is why I'm going to give him time. Is that ultimately, I don't like the football I saw against Luton. I don't like the football I've seen this season. But the fact that we are on 21 points, the fact that you know we'll have players potentially coming back, I don't think we are going to get worse than what we have been this season. And if we are still where we are now after the start we've had, we've got a tough run of games. Like, there's no whole bars. Newcastle, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Aston Villas, um, whoever it is, I think Everton away when we come back after the international break. We've got real tests, so we are going to have to find out about Ten Hag and these players. But I do believe that when the players, some of the players do come back, I do believe that we are going to get better. I don't think it can get worse. Even than what now. But yes, it could Even be hopeful. People might say it's hopeful. Look at Arteta. But can I just say, even Arteta, I know he could have easily got sacked here, but even when he was in the pits of hell, you could see the style of play he wanted to do. You could see it with dead players. And that's mm -hmm. where I look at a manager. It's like, fair enough, you ain't got the players yet, but you know how you're playing out. You can, They know what your team is. And what, we were we what, building up. I know it's Copenhagen, but we were, that first 20 minutes when we had, I know I know it was 11 men then. But so I why didn't can't we do it against Sir Luton? Why annoying, can't we do it against Luton? Yeah, we, we can't yep. do that. I just feel like these players... I don't know if they're capable of maybe doing what he wants them to do See, technically as well, because technically and, I don't think the players are that. And that's great. the issue. The reason no, why listen, that's the issue. Uh, yeah, you, know, you say that, but they keep saving us though. But this yeah, is the yeah. thing. And that's why I don't think it's fair that we always turn around and we say, oh yeah, the players aren't this, the players aren't that. Yeah. 
He's and both. then McTominay comes off the He's bench both. and scores a brace, yeah, against Brentford, yeah, and, and wins us a game that we and deserve he, to lose, yeah, bro. He's, he's like, done bro, it that that game, but it, before it, you go, both. Collins. Yeah, go on, go on. Go you, on, know, side, go you, on. Know, you know, sorry to cut you off, but That's this idea that, you know, the manager throws um, Casemiro on the bus here, I, I thought it was about, it's quite it's quite pathetic for me what he did there. What he says is, I wanted to play football, so why don't you get that team together, stop telling Casemiro to run on the other side <clears> of the <throat> pitch here and be almost like a number eight, number ten here. Tell him to <clears> stick <throat> to his position. Tell him tell him to play in a, in a, in a style of that you want to. Why is it all of a sudden that we're getting three, four man left exposed here? Why is it? That's the imprint of your team. So all of a sudden, yeah, Eric gets a bit of space against Copenhagen with Pidu and you're playing better football. They sat back. They was like, you know what? We'll, we'll probably take a draw here. That's what they did. Yeah, it's mm. easy for us to say, I want to play better football. So why do you do it from the start when you have your better players anyway? Start mm. as you mean. Start yeah. as you mean to go. Sorry, for No, no, it's calm, man. Get off your chest. It's all well and good. And Ty, you mentioned mm. it there in regards to the players technically not being good enough and the players not being able to, maybe not being able to do what Ten Hag wants. But you've spent money on this squad. That's why I don't hear that. That's not solely on Ten. Mm. That is not solely on Ten Hag. That's mm -hmm. on him and these players. Let me and reiterate, everybody, for those that are joining new here, I want because I don't think anybody's good enough. He's not good enough, mm. and the players are not good enough. But when you spend X amount, one of the comments someone said it. That's why you have a squad. We should be doing better than what we're doing right them right, right now. That's all it is. That's my biggest issue and biggest concern with this is that you are making silly decisions that make no sense whatsoever. That's what it is. Sign players, sign better players. Utilize what you have. As poor mm -hmm. as this team is, I don't see the injuries, the players coming back from injuries turning around our attack. The biggest problem is our create created creation of chances, creating chances, number one, and number two, scoring. None of the players coming back, I think, help with that massively. Casemiro nope. to an extent. So that's where I look at it. I don't see defensively, yeah. Martinez, I hear Casemiro, I hear from a defensive standpoint. Who's coming back to changes going forward? We scored 12 yeah. league goals in 13 I, games. We need two. I, I, I think, I think we need two wingers. I, I look at it already. I like Hoyland for the long term, but I Anthony agree. can't take on it. I think that's one of the worst signings, by the way, I've ever seen at this club. Can't take on his man. Yeah. Can't create. Can't retain the ball. Can't run more what than What style 10 of football did he buy us? Um, did he buy um Anthony for? for? Because he said we're never going to play I Ajax ball. ball. If Anthony's ever going to succeed, he'll be in a position. Now he said we are never going to play the no. way Ajax played. So why did he sign Anthony from Ajax? Wait, I don't. I don't. I bro. can't answer that. I bro, I can't. Listen, man, we, we, had we had a play today. We had a play today. Yeah, we had a play today called Zachary. Yeah, plays for hashtag United. Yeah, he's better yeah, than Anthony. Yeah, Sack. Yeah, that's yeah, my bro. boy. He played. He played for. He played yeah, for yeah, Helvetia, yeah. bro. That's my boy. Sack. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Big up to him. He played today Somalia against Algeria. I'm telling you now, he's better than him, man. He, yeah, yeah, he, he is. He is, bro. Man, know about Sack, bro. That's that's my little bro, man. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. And, and he's just like, not cut out for it, man. But like, what's going to happen now, though? The thing is with me, yeah, this is going to be so weird when the football structure comes in and says, yo, we don't want that player. We don't think that player's great. And we don't think that player's great, yeah? What's Ten Hag going to do there? Because then he's like, okay, so I've got to play a different style now of football. Can he do that style of football? So I think the pressure now, we talked about yesterday, yeah? The pressure intensifies now because he can't get his man that he knows. So when he gets ballers and you can't do it, and he can't play the football, yeah, but that's, but that's what I'm saying. So so are we wasting our time then? That, yeah, that's, that's no, idea. no, no. Because are we wasting our time? hypothetical. We can't be... We're not wasting our time because we don't know yet. Obviously, he was successful with Mark Overmars and Edwin van der Sar. They worked together. They had a partnership. At the end of the day, even Pep Guardiola says, and as much as obviously I love Pep Guardiola, great coach, of course, he says it works yeah. from us to the directors, to the to the top ownership. Of course, it's a, it's a structure there. Pochettino, obviously, he's yeah. a coach. He's going to work with Todd Bowley and the people in between. Liverpool, they had Michael Edwards with Jurgen Klopp. Arteta's got Edu and so forth, and he's got the Cronkies now on board. Man United have never really had that. So no matter what, even if I'm going into the office and I'm good at my job, but the people above me, my, man, my manager, the owners and that uh, are not great, even if, I, if I'm doing well at my job, I might not really feel comfortable. At the end of the day, I think, I think Neji made a point yesterday, Saeed, that Ten Hag's had loads of things he's had to juggle with this job. He's not just focused solely on coming in, being a manager and being able to focus on that. Right now, with this new person coming in, hopefully Jean-Claude Blanc, and then obviously you've got uh, Jim Ratcliffe and they make changes upstairs. He has no excuses. So I'm sitting here now, not screaming that I'm Ten Hag in where people get confused. It's that like I'm giving Ten Hag a more time because once I'm done, I'm done. But I want to see if he can work with this board. I want to see if he can work with this structure. This is something that goes way back before Eric Ten Hag, LVG, Mourinho, you know, Oli, David Moyes. Even to Sir Alex Ferguson, where him and David Gill just basically papered over the cracks because they were just so they're in a unique planet. You know what I'm saying? So for me, mm. let's see if he can do that because uh, he's now bro, but be in the spirit, in the spirit of continuity, then 
Because you're saying, yeah, that all these people need to work together. And guess what they all these things to. have in common? Exactly. And guess what happened with Man City? Pep came in last. Pep didn't come in first. So right. what I'm saying is the manager needs to be chosen. The, the manager needs to be chosen by the director of football and the footballing people. They don't they shouldn't have to oh, give Ten Hag a chance because he's already here. Bund that. Like at the end of the day, yeah, he's been here and he's shown his incompetence in his inability to coach the players that are there, his inability mm. to even identify the kind of players he needs for his system. If you can't identify the players you need for your own system, why should I trust you with anything else? That's crazy. You might not Jim. need to trust him, which is why we're going to have people in. They no, but the point is, if you co- if he doesn't even know what he needs, how am I going to know what he needs? Yeah, he should have it. He should, Ten Hag should have input. That's what it should be. Like no, no but forget input, forget football. input, no, forget no, no, input, bro. Has, no, no, no. The manager should have. The no, but what I'm no, but what I'm saying is, forget yeah, all of that, yeah. Because normally a manager, a manager is selected by the director of football. They know the kind yeah. of football the manager wants, and they'll sit yeah, down yeah, and they'll say, yeah. okay, this is the profile you want, yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you a list of players. These right, are the players right. I suggest. Yeah. Which one out of these lot? And then I'll negotiate with all three of them, and I'll say to them, listen, two of them. The negotiation is literally mm. 10 million apart. If you want this one, we'll pay the extra yeah. 10 million. Yeah. That's what that you do. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. But the point is, the manager had free reign to pick players that he wanted mm. without a DOF, and he couldn't even identify correctly players that would work for him. If Agreed. you can't even identify players that would work in your own system, why should I trust you to lead my team, bro? Yeah, 